Problem 46, we're asked to consider rotation around the bond highlighted in red in each of these compounds. We need to draw a Newman projections, and they want us to draw the most stable and least stable conformation. The first thing I would do is uh, decide on a vantage point. I generally decide to look from uh, left to right. So here's my eyeball. I'm going to be looking down this bond this way. Now let's add uh, missing hydrogens on these two carbons, okay, and uh, we'll do that there, okay, and now we want to set up our, you know, circles, so let's see, let's uh, make a, um, our, our template, so we've got a hydrogen in the front poking down, and these two hydrogens are upper left, upper right. Um, on the back carbon, we have uh, two hydrogens, bottom left, bottom right. And then we've got this purple group. So you could draw the purple group in different ways. Um, I'm going to just write it as a, a condensed formula here. Okay. And that's staggered, that's going to be the lowest conformation. To draw this in a uh, most, um, you know, energetic or least stable conformation, we would want to draw an eclipse conformation. There's really only one eclipse structure that we could possibly draw. So let's once again um, make our nice little circle there, and um, we will, let's see, I'm going to keep the front carbon steady, as I usually do, and I'm going to rotate the back carbon, you know, the back groups um, clockwise just a little bit by 60 degrees. So my um, purple group is going to end up here. My back hydrogen will end up here, and my back hydrogen will end up there. So this is what we call the uh, eclipse conformation. This would be the highest energy in the vocabulary words of the original problem. Um, the lowest energy would be called the most stable. And the highest energy is what we call the least stable. Okay, so we've got a similar question, part B. Again, we want to start off by uh, adding in some hydrogens. So let's add some wedges and dashes and draw in the missing hydrogens. This just kind of helps us with things. And then uh, decide on a vantage point. Um, we are going to look down from left to right. And um, in yellow here, we have like an ethyl group. And then in, in yellow here, we have an ethyl group. So we're going to abbreviate those as CH2, uh, CH3 groups when we draw our Newman uh, projections. So let's uh, start doing that. Let's draw the one we have now. Um, as I'm looking down from you know left to right, I see um, my ethyl group on the front carbon poking straight up. And I see uh, two hydrogens, one bottom left, one bottom right. On the back carbon, what I will see, and again, make a model if you can't see this from uh, going into imaginary 3D land. But on the back carbon, that's what you would see. Okay. Now, this is an anti-conformation, and it's also staggered, and that's definitely going to be the lowest energy or most stable. Okay. So that's anti and it's most stable. And I'll use that word stable in my description of this. Now to make this really bad, we know we need to make an eclipse conformation, but what we want to specifically do is rotate um, the back carbon, right? We want to rotate this group here, the ethyl group, all the way up to the top so that we have the uh, syn eclipse conformation. So let's draw that. Okay. So again, I'm going to keep the front carbon 
fixed in space. And I'm going to rotate all this stuff in the back. So when the back rotates, um, the ethyl groups will be crashing into each other. These hydrogens will be experiencing some torsion strain or dihedral strain from the eclipsing hydrogen, hydrogen carbon hydrogen bonds. But anyways, uh, this is called um, syn eclipsed, and this is going to be least stable. So if you like seeing problems from Smith's Organic Chemistry textbook, uh, please subscribe.